Okay, so this was another arena run that was done on stream, as you can tell by the quality, which is slightly worse than usual, and also that chat is on the screen. But this run was uh, quite interesting. I didn't really have any plans going into it, as I don't with most of these runs, but it ended up just being a deer run that turned into a bunch of buses. So if you don't know, a deer spawns a 5-5 bus with splash attack, and it's a tier 4, and if you pill a deer, you can just have a bus on your team. I have no idea why a deer would spawn a bus. It like makes no sense. Also, why is there a bus in an animal emoji auto battler? Doesn't really make any sense, but okay. Anyway, yeah, so there's not really a point in pilling any deer because the deer will spawn the bus anyway. So all that could really happen would be that like if they have a dolphin on your team, it just snipes the 1-1 one -one deer and then you're fine because it spawns the bus anyway. If you don't have that deer, then it'll just snipe the bus or something else and it'll kill that. So it's really no advantage to actually pilling the deer. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to try it. It's still an interesting strat. If you have like a level 2 deer, you can pill it and get a 10-10 bus. Then maybe you want to like buff the bus with a monkey. I don't know. You could do that if you wanted. And uh, if you want the achievement, for, there's a hidden achievement for getting like a level 3 bus. It doesn't actually count towards your achievement percentage. But if you want to do that, you can get a level 3 deer and pill it. And then you get a 15-15 bus. But pretty standard start here. Otters, fish, mosquito, nothing new, nothing to see here. Uh, anyway, I guess I can talk about a tournament I did recently. There was actually a doubles tournament, which was the first ever of its kind. Pretty much it's 1v1s, but two people are deciding on everything to do in uh, the game. So I teamed up with Donut Seeds, and we actually did very well, I think. We got third place, and... Uh, I think there was like 31 teams or something like that, so not too bad. Sorry about some frame drops there. That's just because of bad internet. I had early aux. Didn't even matter. Still lost. Already down to two lives, and it's only three turns. That's a little bit unfortunate, but we have early aux, so I wasn't too worried. Plus, a whole bunch of fish. So one thing you could do with fish is you can go for two level twos into a level three. That just gives that extra plus one, plus one bonus. And you get two level ups. So you get the level up when you get the level two, and then you can combine the two level twos for a three. And you get two chances at early bison if you do this on turn five. And early bison can be an absolute game changer, especially in 1v1s, I found. It's just like you get a free 8 8 if you happen to get a early bison, and it's permanent scaling that you know is going to be on the team for pretty much the entire game. It's just so good. But instead, we get early deer, and also I didn't find another fish. So, oh, just kidding, I found a fish immediately, that was perfect. But Ox and Deer is just so good for turn 5. Like, we're getting a 14-7 with Melon, plus a 5-5 with Splash. You can see we just absolutely roll this person's team. Early Deer, I think, is pretty much always worth taking. It's just a huge advantage. Most things don't even have, like, 5 health at this point, so you're killing so many things. So I get the fish buff, and I get another early deer. So I decide to go for two buses, because why not? I, I don't know what I'm doing at this point, but we get to get another plus two, plus two for both of the buses and the ox and a whale. So typically, if you're playing an actual game, you would take whale deer. Whale deer is just a good strat, and it's also it pivots so easily into a summoning build because it's one of the like most ideal builds. So if you... Uh, do happen to go whale deer you can kind of just like hard roll for turkey on turn nine and then hopefully you bought like a parrot because you can have like parrot ox in the meantime and then you put the parrot behind turkey and things just work out really well that's uh that's one way to win an arena i wouldn't say it's the most consistent way it, like so many builds have a lot of counters they lose to like crocodiles and like dolphins leopards snakes rhinos there's a lot of things that can go wrong but for the most part it's still a decent way to win because like People don't have especially great counters to summoning builds in Arena, at least. And you can still put, like, Melon on everything to prevent snipes. So, yeah. Uh, now, I'm just looking for more deer, because it's tier 4, so I can get one more deer, and there we go. I get it next turn, and now I need a pill. And we'll have three buses. It looks like a very strange team. I don't know what buses are doing with the, all these animals, but... Uh, Sure, it's a it's a cool thing that exists. I wonder why they decided deers would summon buses. Is it just because maybe it was just because like they didn't uh, know what else to summon? It wouldn't make sense to summon like another animal, so they just had to pick like something from the uh, emoji list. 
and I guess they picked buses. It's just a funny looking team. Also, the buses have a golden poop hat. Cool. And, okay, so one thing you can also do, when you have a level 3 unit, don't forget, uh, it sells for 3 gold, so you can immediately pivot off this level 3 fish and buy whatever you have in the shop. So I was thinking I could sell the fish and just buy a parrot because it would be an 8-3 with melon armor, which is better than a 10-11 without anything, I think, because uh, you could get like 16 damage worth out of that. But there's the chance it would get like sniped by something. The splash attack is just carrying me early on, and uh, yeah, it's working out pretty well. So now we need some form of scaling because it's tier 5, we unlocked monkeys, we unlocked seal, those are both really good scaling. Also, if you do happen to get a level up, you can get like a dragon or a cat. There's just so many possibilities for scaling now. And uh, the first thing I got was a seal. So I decided to go with seal. It Honestly, I've mentioned this in the past, but I think seal is better than monkey now. So as long as you can try to get level two, which is a certain amount of RNG because you can see I'm rolling past like pears and apples and sushi and everything because I'm just looking for seals and chocolate. I think you really want to just get the scaling level up as fast as possible. I mean, it's usually not too difficult. You only need to find two chocolates or two seals or one of each. And that like that happens reasonably often if you have two turns. Uh, the tricky part is if you're looking for scaling on like turn 10, then you probably won't get a level 2 as fast and you're going to be quite far behind. But I finally get that level 2 seal. And now, uh, I'm surprised we haven't even lost yet. I still have two lives to work with, so it's actually not too bad. And I think pears are worth freezing. They're the best targeted food, of course. And Cupcake is an interesting one, because it gives temporary stats to the seal, but the seal is giving permanent stats, and that's really what we care about. It's giving a free pizza, pretty much, to our units, and also it would just help us win this turn. But finally, we take our loss since, like, turn four, and now we're on lethal, but now we also are going to scale quite a bit. So it's kind of just like, uh, hope you don't run into a really strong team right now, but uh, this is kind of just how to win in Versus. Uh, you look for scaling. You have so many more lives in Versus as well. So if uh, I wouldn't be on lethal. <clears throat> but yeah, we ran into a decently weak team, Kangaroo. Uh, I guess we ended up drawing because the turkey actually had less than 5 health, so that was pretty lucky. But we continue to scale, and just with this uh, seal, it's probably enough, especially with level 3 seal. As long as we find like somewhat decent foods, this should be enough scaling to hopefully help us win. And the buses, they already all have splash attack. That's the benefit out of this, is that like when you pill the deer, obviously the deer doesn't have splash attack, but suddenly the buses do. So you don't even have to buy any equipment for it. And a nice win there. And more good food. I was thinking we could buy melon for one of the buses. Uh, it is better than splash attack, especially if it's like a beefy unit. But I decided in the spirit of things, I want to just keep all three buses with splash attack and not change anything about it. It would be great if I could get a fourth bus in here if we sold the ox and instead got another deer, but it's gonna be pretty tricky to find a deer and a pill in the shop right now. And if I did that, like, we're gonna spend so much gold rolling probably that we're gonna lose out on so much scaling, and that's very risky at this point because uh, it's not like our team's super OP. We still have to scale quite a bit in order to keep up here. But another victory. Two more rounds. So cow is an interesting thing with seal. Most of the time, by this point, your team is kind of full, and so you would have to sell something that's actually pretty meaningful to your team. But I decided to do it because I have two cows. I don't think it's worth it for one cow, but when you have two cows, it definitely seems like a lot of scaling because we're giving plus three, plus three to other things now, plus the plus two, plus four from the cow. Also, we actually managed to get a cat and uh, I decided it wasn't worth it because the cat is only going to be buffing the seal. It just buffs the milk. It goes from plus 2, plus 4 to plus 4, plus 8. And I didn't think that was worth it. I think like we could find something better. And the seal buffs are the things that I really care about. I was kind of hoping to find another cow, but instead we just got a pair. And now I decide, let's just go with a 4 squad. We've got plenty of scaling, we've got good stats, and we've got equipment on everything. This is a pretty strong team. I don't think that, like, 
a lot of teams would actually beat this on turn 14. It is possible for sure, but uh, like the potential to find super broken teams has gone down a little bit since the dragon nerf, I think. And we got some good break points there, just barely able to like live some extra attacks. You know, the difference between living one extra attack is huge, because then you might just absolutely kill their next strongest unit. And so yeah, pretty lucky there. If you want to, you can just buy Melon on the seal and get the plus three, plus three. Just guarantee you get stats, because uh, that's really what's important here. And plus three, plus three is just very good. So I was thinking about it, but I decided... Also, I was thinking about why not putting uh, Melon on the bus again. That would like ensure a win here, but... I decide to, again, keep it the same. And I have three gold left over. Out of these options, I decided to take a crab because it's going to be a 344, which isn't really anything special. Like, the next best option is probably ox or mosquito. There's always a chance that the mosquito can pop a random melon. Uh, but I decided to just go with crab. It didn't even matter. And there we go. We get to 10 wins with three buses on our team. It is also just shows how good seal scaling is. But yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.